and Stephen King from 12 Foot Ninja. Welcome back to the studio. It's good to have you both here. Uh, thanks Thank for having you. us, Higo. Now, we were just having a discussion off air about metal and, uh, you know, people's perception of what is metal and what isn't and how people are, there's a lot of haters out there and mm -hmm. what were you saying, Stephen? Come on, keep going. Um, yeah, well, I think I, we were just talking about the, the purists that, that sort of perceive metal um, in, a, in a very uh, set bunch of parameters. If it's not if it's not screaming and, you know, just melting your face, then it's it's shit. Mm. Can I say shit? Of course you can. It's awesome. So, uh, yeah, th I think that's, um, they're the most outspoken ones. But a lot of people, I think, who enjoy metal like a bit of variety, you know, but they just don't go around ear bashing people about what should be metal and what shouldn't be metal. Because mm. um, they've got a more open palate. Exactly. They want to just discover new stuff. That's no right. one wants to just eat minced beef the whole time. <laughs> no. You've got to put some other shit in there, you yeah, know? That's, that's exactly right. right. That's a good analogy. I like that. Because people, and, and we were talking about when I first started this show, which is nearly three years ago now, you, you're up against it because you can't be everything to everyone because it's only a two-hour show. Mm. And if you don't have enough, for example, metal core for using a subgenre for the hell of it, um, then people who attack you and you go, well, hang on, did you listen to the show last week when we had four bands mm. that fit that genre? Yeah. They just see the one playlist and go, oh, you're not playing enough of this. It's like, mm. oh, Christ almighty, you get judged on one show. Yeah. Absolutely. No, I think you're doing a good job of, of trying to give people a broad experience. You know, I think that listeners should appreciate that, you know, even mm. if, even if it's not their cup of tea, just to get uh, introduced to it and then make that decision through experience as opposed to you know, prejudice, you know. Yeah, right. there you go. And that's exactly why you boys are here, because I want to push the Australian angle as much as I can, which I have been doing, and that's why you're here. We've got to talk about the Troll Burger Tour. Yes. yes. This, and I still watch this film clip now, <laughs> and it makes me laugh so much, because it's just so very violent. Yeah, in that one violent. particular. And for those who haven't seen it, please go and, and, and look it up, because it is just phenomenal. Awesome. Well, thank you, man. Glad you, thank you. Glad you appreciate it. Man. Oh, man, it's just so good. I got excited when we were talking about this a long time yeah, ago yeah. when you were getting the crowdfunding going and you well exceeded, you know, what you wanted. Mm -hmm. and, and if it wasn't for the fans, that's you know. it. Yeah, well, I think, you know, luckily a lot of our supporters just appreciated the idea and uh, you don't really get the chance to do something that costs that much money that's free. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. So I, I think everyone sort of dug it. Like, yeah, I'd like to see that. I'll, yeah. I'll put in a co the cost of a coffee or, you know, I'll buy a bloody T-shirt or whatever. And um, yeah, I mean, so far it, we've had just an extraordinary response from the supporters saying it was worth it and, you know, they're into it. I mean, we've, we've seen a lot of other people like, oh, you could have done so many things with that. But in reality, I could, you know, you can't, I've, 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 a one that comes up a lot is you could have spent. 40 grand on taking three bands over to wherever and uh, to America and, and showcasing them. But who would like, who's going to back that? Like, what do they yeah. get out of it? You know, Americans seeing the gig might, might be into it, but it's, I think it's about giving something to everyone. So I think yeah. the thing was with that film clip, I watched it and I, at the end, I didn't look at it and go, Oh, they could have done better than that for the money. <laughs> mm. I was, I was genuinely blown away by awesome the efforts that you went to and, uh, well, we, we, uh, we got, everyone was working on mates rates and mm. we really, uh, I mean, we, the band put about 10 grand of our own money into it as well. Mm. And, um, yeah, I mean, it, it was absolutely, uh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> this shit costs a lot of money. <laughs> it that's, does. that's, that's yeah. the thing. People don't really, really realize that yeah. because, because they don't do it themselves. They don't mm. realize sort of. You know, especially what the prosthetics were probably the most expensive yeah. thing. Um, and, and I mean, he, yeah, like uh, Steve worked on The Hobbit. You know what I mean? Wow. Yeah. yeah. And and like, like I s chat to Ken about this all the time. Like people watch Jurassic Park now and they go, ah, oh, that's shit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it's yeah. like, what? <laughs> you know, the effort and technology and skill. And, yeah. you know, I think everyone's got really high expectations. Um, yeah. Oh, geez, it's so much fun watching that film clip. Awesome. It's so damn good. It is so damn good. Awesome. And someone didn't someone tip in like 10 grand from overseas? Yeah, like, like it was yeah. One, we had so a guy from uh, Singapore. What Now, what does he get for his 10 grand? He's he getting something special, doesn't he? We're playing his birthday party or something. We're still yeah. yet to establish whether or not that's <laughs> going to be happening here yeah. or if we're flying over to Singapore. But um, And he got a guitar. He got a line oh, yeah, six uh, guitar. Did he really? Yeah. The band. Yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, like that and the gig. And I think we gave him pretty much... A combination of everything. He got t the t-shirt. He got the um, acoustic tracks. He got the whole sort of lot. Worth mm. your while. 
Yeah. Yeah. I well, I mean, so. if you've got the cash and, you know, you like to just see wacky things happen, mm. you know, then uh, good on him, I reckon. Well, I think it was thanks to him that, that we actually crossed the line because before that, before that donation, mm. um, we were worried. We were sort of a week out um, from our, from our limit and we didn't think we were going to make it. And then mm. after that came in, after that 10 grand was contributed, all these other people just started contributing, you know, chipping in five bucks here, five bucks there. Mm. And uh, yeah, luckily, I think it just incentivized everyone to sort of get on board. Yeah. So. I mean, the, cra- the crowdfunding thing is, is if you look at the, the graph of um, contributions and how it works over time, like you get a, a, a peak at the start mm-hmm. and then it dips down in the middle and then it peaks out at the end. Mm. Um, so we were just waiting for that peak and he, he really peaked it out. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Excellent. Yeah. Now getting back to the, the tour, um, you're bringing Algorithm over yes. and we were, there's another band that we were talking about before we came on air. And uh, for, for those who saw it a big day out, it, it's just insane music. Mm. Absolutely. Uh, it, it's hard to describe. We're, I mean, we were talking about metal. Where the hell does that fit? You know, yeah. It's, I mean. Uh, well, it's kind of, it's, it, it's a bit of that. There seems to be a bit of a forward push towards the integration of more technology and electronica mm. in, in metal. And um, I think with, you know, gent, for want of a better term, mm. um, you know, a lot of a lot of bands now are looking for different sounds. And I think, um, yeah, I don't know. I think it's kind of the next natural logical step for mm. metal to integrate itself with, with the new technology that's available out there. Mm. Um, it's I like, think, yeah, it's like really syncopated, genty stuff, but electronic at the same time. Mm. I, I think I, the other day we were talking about it. Um, it sounds like if Virgil Donati ate like a sack full of calculators. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you're, you're on fire with the uh, analogy <laughs> today. He is the analogy man. Yeah. So yeah. this, uh, it kicks off in Queensland, I think. Is that right? Yes. On the 21st. 21st of this month. Yes. Yep. And takes in, um, six. Seven, eight, nine. Yeah, it's about 11, 12 dates. I 11, think. 12 yeah. dates. Right. Yeah. And taking in all parts. And, and great that algorithm. Have you got any other locals that are going to be like yeah, we, in, the, in the local markets that are tagging along? Yeah, yeah. We've, we've, um, we have some locals sorted out. We haven't announced yet, but we've sort of, um, you know, tried to get the best, the best local bands for that particular region. Um, well, that makes it difficult because there's so many great bands coming from every point of the compass in Australia yeah, at the yeah. moment. So. As soon as I said that, I realized you can't definitively say the best. Someone asked me that the other day. Well, but that's it. Let me rephrase. We got some really good uh, local supports. Who um, were available. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I think, I think overall the show, it, it's going to be, uh, you know, value for money is what we're trying to give people um, yeah. quality across the, the, the way. And great ve- quality across the way, mate. <laughs> <laughs> great venues as well. The zoo's always a good room. Yep. Um, a new bar in Canberra. Miami Shark Bar on the Gold Coast. Never been there. What's that like? You doing uh, that one? An interesting place. Is it's, it really? It's, it's, it's uh, a bit of an institution. Right. Yeah. Peer Live in Frankston. Down old 21st oh, Century yeah. Dance Club in Frankston. Oh, yeah. Love Franger. Franger. Got to get Franger. involved in that. 170 Russell. Not sure why they changed it from Billboard, but they have. Mm. The Gov in Adelaide's brilliant. Rose Mountain, Perth. Excellent. Players Bar in Mandra. I used to live in Mandra. Yeah, right. We haven't played there yet, so well, that'll be an interesting one. Yeah, that'll be interesting for sure. Yep. Oh, I can assure you of that. Yes. Okay. It's a strange breed in Mandra. Excellent. Uh, what else should we be crossing off? What else happens after that then? Uh, off to the States again. We've, uh, we've, we're doing a couple of, how many festivals? About four or five festivals. Oh, I saw now. you just got added to, what's it called? That one in R- Rock on the Road. Rock or, on the Road. Yeah. R- Is yeah. that what it's called? No. Nah, um, with, with, roll um, like a rock, rock, rock stock. Um, again, I've got to have They're to all there. like rock something. Yeah. Rock on the, festivals. rock on the row. Stained, Alter Bridge. Yep. Devour the day. Truck fighters. Heaven's Basement, they were here for um, for Soundwave. We're good guys. Yeah, yeah. Out of the UK. Very awesome. good guys. Um, and that's a hell of a lineup too. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, the, all the festivals are just bananas over there. Like Fort Rock, uh, we're doing that. Welcome to Rockville. Yep. Uh, we've got Carolina. Rock in a sock. Carolina Rebellion. <laughs> rock with your cock out. Rock on the rain, road. Rock on the row. row. Rock on the range. Rock, rock on the, the range. range. Yeah, Guns and Roses are at that one. Yeah. Rocklahoma. Rocklahoma. <laughs> I like Lots how, rocking. yeah, they just try and throw rock into everything. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, I, I, yeah, it's kind of like we're playing with all the posters that were on our walls. Mm. Yeah. Like, it's which is trippy. Amazing. Yeah. Does that feel, how does that feel? Very surreal. It's, you know, these are the guys that we, we looked up to as teenagers and 
now we're kind of, you know, we get to rub shoulders with them, bump shoulders Slayer. with them, which is awesome. You were yeah. a festival oh, with yeah. Slayer. Oh, yeah. yeah. Slayer Mastodon. And, Motorhead. Um, yeah. yeah. Actually, we're doing, there's a couple of things with Guns N' Roses and um, Russ has been singing like Welcome to the Jungle, like flat out for the, <laughs> ever since I've known him. So it's, I don't know what's going to happen. It's going to be some sort of spiritual connection for him. Absolutely. And Axel. His Cranburn years are, are going to. You know, <laughs> peak out. He's going to have flashbacks he's and all sorts gonna of like, stuff. He's just going to like, you know, yeah. shed his skin and become like just epic bogan. Do you reckon yeah, he's going to start doing that? Oh, does he do yeah. the dance? Yeah, does the side oh, rock. Yeah, 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 yeah. Side rock? He hits that frequency. Well, I'm Tom Young now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, man. There'll be heaps of that going on. Oh, that's, yeah. you've got to film that shit and get yeah, it online. Absolutely. That'll be brilliant. And that is a hell of a lineup. That one, uh, Rock on the Range. In Columbus, Ohio, that mm. is just huge. They're pretty reckless. I just got their new album. Yeah, yeah. Jeez, they're good. I've heard, yeah. I've heard they're really good. I haven't yeah. really haven't heard the new album yet, but yeah. Taylor Momsen, lead singer. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous. She has got some chops mm. of mice and men. Down are playing there. Christ Almighty! How do I get to May? How do I get there in May? Yeah, uh, in our suitcase. Yeah, yeah. That'd, be a, that'd be a big bloody <laughs> <laughs> double kick drum case. <laughs> Yeah, chop me up into bits. <laughs> yeah, in, well, can, Steve's you know, kind of a, adept at that. You yeah. looked a little bit. Uh, I have to go back to this film <laughs> clip. You looked like you were enjoying that a little bit too much. Yeah, yeah, I did enjoy it. <laughs> 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 yeah, I don't yeah. know. Something came out. Like mm. you know, I don't know how to explain it. It's just in there. Oh, no, he got he got to play out. out a fantasy. You know? yeah. 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 Well, you all did, kind of. Didn't yeah. You? yeah, yeah, yeah. It was quite uh quite interesting. Mm. But you know, it was a lot of fun. We're about to put out a behind the scenes video, so you can. Kind that of is see... going to be that is going to be the stuff that I yeah. want to see as well. Yeah. That's uh, yeah. The, how much? How many gallons of fake blood were there? There was a lot of fake blood, mm. and actually, making fake blood is quite an art form. And Steve, who did the the, the prosthetics for the troll head, he made that as well. But it like. To make blood look realistic, you need to know what it's going on to. So you you mm. change oh, like okay. whether it's on skin or what it sort of changes. But yeah, I mean, he did a killer job. Um, yeah, with that blood, it was awesome. Mm. But I was slipping around on that. The whole thing was plastic. Like it was, I was at, when we were filming, I was actually like joking around a lot. But when we watch it back, like I look. Yeah, you I'm look serious. Yeah, yeah. I've got in, uh, there's, there's there's a glint. Yeah, there is. <laughs> there's a frightening glint. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So uh, the dark passenger. It's that's yeah. it. Who yeah. knows what's going to happen? But uh, but yeah, the um, that was just an internal dialogue. Yeah, well, yeah. Who knows what's going to happen? <laughs> what do you mean? What, hey, I'm having a conversation with myself. Yeah. Oh, I was just thinking about what I'm going to do. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Shut up. So, <laughs> um, yeah, and then after that, changing the topic, we're, get, we're up for a Golden Gods Award. Yes, is, um, that was the other thing I saw. Can you believe that? Not, not really. really. Do you no. get to go to that as well? Yeah. yeah. Does that? Wh- how does that work for us who are mere plebs who don't get to go to these sort of things? Um, well, it's, I don't know, really. Yeah, I mean, it's like a, they, they call it like the metal Grammys. Mm. So it's sort of, um, it's televised in the States and- Yep. There's they a just, great lineup of people playing there as well. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's so, going to be including awesome. Guns and Roses. Yeah, Guns and Roses are doing yeah. that, and Corn. And, and yeah, I don't know. There's a couple others on there, but yeah. heaps of awesome dudes like Dave Grohl frequents these things. Like you know, lots of it's um, the who's who of the yeah. the metal world go Absolutely. to the Golden God. So do they do they pay for it to go over? You got to find your own way. Do they just give you a ticket to get in, or how does it work? I actually don't know. All yeah, that, I don't think uh, they pay good. for you to get there, but I think we just rock up. Yeah, we, we they give you they and, give you a ticket and all that stuff. Yeah. Um, so who are you up against? Do you know? Yeah, we're up against there's six bands in total in the category for best new artist. Is uh, it best new talent. Talent. Yeah, I think Heaven's um, Basement's in that category with you. Yeah, could be and, and Crosses. Crosses. Chinos. Oh, jeez. Um, are we? Uh, yeah. I mean, we, we've definitely got. I don't think What's we're going to win. from it? Slipknot's new band? Um, Scar the Martyr or something? Yeah, Scar, yeah, Scar the, Scar the Martyr. Martyr. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're up for it. And uh, Deaf Heaven. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So big, big players. I mean, we're just honored to be even nominated. Like, you know, that's. How does awesome. that come about? Like, do, who nominates you? Oh, it's Revolver, Revolver Magazine. Yeah. So so so. And heaps of bribes. Yeah. Well, there you go. Yeah, we bribed them. That's what the crowdfunding <laughs> was for. Yes. Yeah. Right. That's where the money went. That's now it. you know. Yeah. TFN exposed. <laughs> um, no, we don't know how it comes about. I think I think it's kind of like the Grammys where they have sort of a, a committee of people that that vote. You know, I'm sure there'd be a sort of a long list and how brilliant that you guys got the nod. Yeah, that's it's pretty crazy. It's awesome. I think um, 
Yeah. I mean, we were, we were stoked. Like we, but I'm stoked for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty pretty epic. I mean, the the thing is, um, we weren't too sure what it was when we first, you know, because we don't. A lot of the time, you're in Australia, you don't really, you know, what's mm. going on over there. But mm. you know, it is a big honour. So we're. we're is it a public vote thing? Um, it is. Yeah, yeah, you can actually so vote. We so we need to get some links out there and get yeah, people absolutely. voting. Oh, that'd be awesome. Yeah. And you can vote more than once as well, mm. which is really handy. Excellent. So if, yeah, if you've got just... a good trigger finger, just get on it for 10 minutes and mm. yeah, hit that link. Some ladies might be very good at that. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Single ladies, you yeah. know what I'm talking about. Um, oh, yeah. Well, yeah, we'll get the links up on the distortion page and we'll push that out through Twitter and, Legend. and Thanks, make man. sure we get people voting for you oh, guys. Cheers, you guys. And that's Great. soon, isn't it? That's... Not far away. April, April, yeah, yeah. April something. April twenty second. Yeah, I think or twenty third. So in yeah. about a bit over four weeks. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So what about normal jobs? They've gone now. <laughs> well, you know, I I, I got uh, let off on Christmas Eve for my job mm. because of the touring. This is the crowdfunding thing. Yeah. Again. yeah. And uh, and yeah, you know, I applied for another job, and uh, they're like, "You're just going to disappear again." And I'm like, "That's correct." <laughs> so, yeah, it's over. For and me. Rowan, Rowan. Got sacked as well. Yeah, everyone yeah. got sacked. Yeah. yeah, it's all um, yeah, touring and, and stuff. It's it's taken over. So I mean, that is the ultimate goal slash dream that you can work at this as your full time job. Absolutely. Yeah. But obviously, this transitional phase now, you're going. Yeah, I don't have. I've been sacked. Yeah, yeah I don't have a job. Sort of in limbo. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of like I, I sort of describe it. It's like jumping off a cliff. You know, you've got that mid air point when you're not sure if you're going to land on the other side or not. You just hope that you are. Um, so yeah, that's kind of where we're at. But I mean, I like it's in a way. There's so much positive stuff happening. We're just gonna go hammer and tongs and give it a good crack. Mm. See that's what happens. That's all you can do. Give it the old Aussie crack. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> give it a crack, mate. That's right. Mate. Go, that's mate. It. Give, yeah, it a, give it a crack, mate. Give it a red hot go. Yeah, that's the way. Take yeah. a good hard look at yourselves <laughs> and give it a fucking crack. <laughs> exactly. All right, guys. Well, thank you very much for coming in. Thanks Always a uh, pleasure to talk to you boys and, um, you know, all the best. And I'm just going to push the hell out of everything. So what, what song are we going to play? From, I, from, from your, us? Your, well, yeah. Okay. Well, what, do you, what do you reckon? Because I always pick, you know, music, but you're here, so you may as well pick. Mm. Well, um, it is the Troll Burger tour. Yeah. And the Troll, Troll Burger comes from the clip to Ain't That, Ain't a, that bitch. a Bitch. So mm. I reckon Ain't That a Bitch. You go. All right. Now people need to get online and check out. I'll put, I'll put the link up again on the on the Facebook page and people need to watch it because it's just so damn good. Thanks, it comes mate. with a warning for crying out loud. Yeah, it does. Man. All right, boys. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks, mate. Go. G'day. This is Stevic from 12 Foot Ninja and you are listening to Distortion on Triple M. Hi, this is Kin from 12 Foot Ninja and you're listening to Distortion on Triple M.